watching East Texas Live. Well, welcome back to East Texas Live on KETK. Joining us now is Lisa and Kelly from Russ County Pets Alive, and today they're here to share their mission and what they do. Thank, uh, thanks, guys, for coming, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about how and why you guys were created. Five years ago, in the summer, our community realized that there was a major problem in our local shelter with only 33% of the animals getting out alive. And as a community, we decided that we were ready to make a change and to be a different standard bearer for small town local shelters. And so we began, Kelly and I, working with our local government and developing a relationship with them. And then we developed a partnership with new management at the shelter and in less than a year, they were able to take that to no-kill status and have maintained it since then. We've continued to work with them in partnership to find placement for animals directly from the shelter. We don't do public intake. We just focus directly on that mission of keeping that shelter at no-kill status. And many dogs struggle with socialization. How do you guys keep up with that and deal with that? Mm -hmm. Good question. Uh, the first thing we do is, is to socialize them with other dogs mm -hmm. to see if they get along with other dogs, males, females, and such as that. Um, and then we move uh, forward, of course, humans, all type of humans, all ages, uh, focus on children just to make sure that they're uh, kid friendly, so to speak. We take them out in public to Lowe's, uh, Starbucks, mm -hmm. uh, on little outings like that, just to get them used to being in the public and see how they're going to react. Uh, dog parks, we take them on a walk. Some of our, <coughs> excuse me, our volunteers will foster and take them home. A lot of these dogs have never been inside of a home at all, and so just the just a TV uh, can just freak <laughs> them out, you know, <laughs> especially the very large ones. Um, and so they get them used to the sounds inside the homes and such. And so we, we do our best to uh, recognize any type of triggers that those dogs will have and just acclimate them to be out, being out in public. Yeah, and tell us about your, new, your newest project, HTE, Russ County Second Chance Initiative, whoever wants to answer that. Talk about that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead. It is a, a project in uh, cooperation with Russ County Commissioner's Court, the Russ County Sheriff's Department, the shelter and us, Russ County Pets Alive, working with MTC, the prison uh, that is in Russ County. And we are pulling dogs out of the shelter to work with prisoners who have been trained by one of our volunteers who is a professional dog trainer. And she is teaching these guys how to train dogs so that they can work with those dogs. This gives the inmates a marketable skill when they get out and it also benefits the dogs. Kelly, you might want to talk about that. Yeah, the thing about it is that the dogs are with uh, the training inmate 24-7. Uh, they're in their cell with them and such and so they they are, are trained on all types of levels. I mean, they. They train them on the good uh, canine citizen skills, mm -hmm. and so you know they'll have manners when they're out in public. But uh, they, you know, whatever's happening in that trainer's world that day, they get exposed to it, and so it just creates a wonderful balance uh, for that dog. Well, it's amazing what you guys are doing, and we really appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, the last question: How does the y'all spay and neuter pro, uh, project benefit the shelter and the community? Uh, it's a huge, it's a huge program. Uh, the main benefit that it provides is that now when a citizen comes to the animal shelter, to animal center to adopt an animal, uh, they're already altered. And so there's no chance of that animal getting out. And uh, th they were on the coupon system. A lot of shelters work off of that. It's, it's useless. Uh, it's very low uh, uh, success rate with that. And so now every animal, when you go and you want a family member for your home, uh, mm -hmm. they're already altered. And so the person doesn't have to go through that, get the vet, you know, um, appointment and all of that. And so it's, it's huge. The dogs are healthier, the animals are healthier, and it just really eliminates a large uh, portion of the overpopulation. And what about cats in this situation? Yes, yeah, same thing. We have so many different types of cats and we work with them uh, as they're having all of their vet care. We've done over a thousand cats from the shelter in the five years that we've been working with them. We manage those cats uh, behavior wise as well as taking care of their vet care. If they're a friendly inside cat, they get adopted out through our partnership Pet Sense, Pet Store. 
If they are an outside cat that's friendly, then we place them through online adoptions mm -hmm. for people to use as porch or patio cats to patrol their properties. And if they're feral cats, we actually place them at farms for people who have applied online to have uh, working cats at their farms. And for what you guys are doing, how, how good of a feeling is it to be able to do this for all the animals? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. It's, yeah, very yeah. rewarding, very rewarding. You know, they need a voice and they need a, uh, someone to stand up for them and to help them out just as, you know, we need sometimes and so it's very rewarding. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys again for coming thank and you. we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Thanks for having us.